Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenron. We are back with Destra Liberali as our new party here in power in Papal Italy. We're democracy, so we can't choose our governing party. Uh, these guys won the election. It's really disappointing. I expected the uh, this party to win because we chose every single one of their ideals from all the pop-ups, but they still didn't win. Darn it. So we're stuck with these guys who are pro-military, uh, which, I mean, it's almost the same thing. But I really wanted the uh, jingoism. Uh, this one right here. Partido Liberal Italiano. These We went with all of these choices every time we got a pop-up. And they still lost the damn election. Oh, well. Uh, any good decisions out there? No, not really. Ah, they're fine. All right, let's continue on. The land of the Pope, man. Oof. I was asking, should we get rid of our unprofitable industries? Because it would certainly add some some money to our pockets. Oh, hold on. Is it peacetime? You guys want white peace? Yeah, he wants white peace. Okay, no problem. There you go. White peace. Yay! Because we don't need that to turn into a great war. It doesn't matter. It wouldn't even be a great war. It would just be Scandinavia on one side and the rest of us on the other. Wow, coal and iron production plus 100%. That's pretty amazing. But I think we'll go for electrical power generation. That's more useful. Oh, yeah. Keep getting relations up with Francy Pants. He's probably going to try to get sphered by Russia, I bet. Mm, nope. Russia's not influencing... Nobody's influencing France. Probably because they expect him to bounce up and be a great power again. What's the next war target? Uh, we don't really have one. Oh, hold on. Switzerland's losing over here. Let's get you guys up to Lucerne and go to Bern. We'll meet up in Bern. Uh, save Switzerland. Operation Save Switzerland. All right, go for it. God, we're taking huge losses because we're attacking in the mountains, but it should be okay. Yeah, the Swiss are actually coming back now to uh, fight off the invaders, so that works. Ooh, long live Italy. We got some cores. Nice. No, we don't own Mecca yet. You're right. We should probably go get Mecca. Let's see. Low safety or limited safety? We can go for low safety. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Click a button. Get some safety regulations. Factories cost a little more. People live a little better lives. So it all works. It all works out. It all checks out. Uh, no consciousness, please. I'll take the militancy. Bolivia revolted again. Wow, that's quick. They just revolted at the end of the last episode. Now they revolted again. Okay, this is almost done. Then we'll swap them out for this army. Yay, another core. Yay. Let's see. Yeah, Germany's trying to influence Switzerland now. That's not good. Damn it. Okay, there goes Geneva. We'll swap you guys out. We'll take these guys home to heal up. Just these guys. There you go. Fighting in the mountains like that is never advantageous for the attacker. It doesn't mean you can't win. It's usually just preferable to not attack in the mountains. But Switzerland's all mountains anyway, so it's fine. There we go. And he's running into France. I don't have any access there, so we'll just let him run into France. Unsiege that province. Looks good. Okay, more influence in Francy Pants, please. More influence. God, France has no industry. It's just embarrassing. Uh, we're still behind Britain in industry. That's sad. Wow. We get 600 points from our capital ships. That's amazing. Yeah, our military is not as strong as Germany's military. He has less troops than us. But, um, but he has more military points. Probably because his troops are better quality. 
That's fine, though. As soon as we get tanks, everything will change, baby. Tanks are awesome. Oh, Belgium's back. Wow, you guys didn't stay away long, did you? Uh, unfortunately for Belgium, these are farmers. And farmers are not going to fight very well against fully trained troops. Let's see, more fascist or more reactionary? I'll go for the fascist. Fascist Italy? No way! Oh god, we're slaughtering the farmers. Slaughter the farmers! Ah. Oh god, they... <gasps> and they're retreating into France. Okay, no problem. They're just farmers. What did they ever do to you? Nothing. The goggles, they do nothing. He's back again. Oh my goodness. This guy just doesn't give up. Stubborn, stubborn Belgium. You're doing it all wrong, Belgium. That's not how you invade a nation. Okay, Neuchâtel is taken. Move on. I should go to Bern. That's the capital. Important that the capital does not fall. Attack! Kill him. And not softly either. Oh god. China goes bankrupt. Oh, poor China. Oh, and he's not even a great power anymore. He's down to number 12. Well, who the hell is taking his place? Don't tell me it's Switzerland. It's not. It is... Oh, France is going to bounce back up. All right, fine. Uh, you accept peace yet? No. Belgium's the war leader for some reason. Hmm. Oh, God, we're just slaughtering him. It's a slaughter! Well, you shouldn't have joined the war. It's your own damn fault. You really should not have joined this war. Or taken over as a war leader. You shouldn't have done either of those. Ooh, T. Oh my god, the lag when I'm clicking stuff is amazing. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're actually getting invaded by the Netherlands. That's awesome. Peace? Nope. Alright. Well, keep the invasion going. I mean, this is a pretty pathetic attempt to defend uh, from these guys. They're doing their best, but their best is pretty bad. Oh, Media Strikes Tunguska. The Tunguska... Ex hold on. The Tunguska Explosion of... Uh, 1908, which produced a devastating fireball in Siberia that destroyed forests and caused worldwide tremors, was the result of an asteroid or meteor. Cool. Still no peace. Really? I mean, it's amazing you guys are being so stubborn about this peace deal. We're just rocking these battles, too. Oh, well. Sabotage. Uh-oh. Poor families in Amelia gain consciousness and militancy. Or rich families gain consciousness. I think I'm going to go for the rich. Because we have more poor. There's the peace deal. There you go. Switzerland has grown. Look at that. Beautiful. Switzerland now owns Tyrol. And their name is on the map. Nice. Good job, Switzerland. You took infamy. 
8.58. How does that feel taking infamy, Switzerland? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, it feels great, man. I'm a man. I'm 40. You are a man. And you are 40. So congratulations. All right, let's do some more influence over here, please. Relations, go. Make France a happy man. Uh, although he is going to be a great power again soon, so I guess I don't care that much. Uh, Poland's still keen on us. Ottomans, anyone dicking around with the Ottomans? No, not really. Uh, people are keeping their nose clean, which is nice. Um, turn those off. We don't really need them. And let's go back to Australia. Uh, actually, New Zealand. New Zealand first, because New Zealand's at Cordial, I think. Cordial, yeah, and Australia is at Friendly. So uh, we'll try to sneak Australia. As soon as New Zealand gets to Friendly, we'll go sneak Australia. Oh, I've been discredited New Zealand. All right, fuck it. Australia it is. There we go. Electrical power generation. Nice. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Tax efficiency. Yeah, you know what? Let's go get some, some of this basic stuff. Better taxes. Why not? All right. Our troops are all in Rome. Group up. Split up a bit. Split up a bit again. Split up a bit again. There we go. Split, please. Split P? No. Split, please. Ah, you're too nice. Armies were a little unbalanced. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Make sure everyone's on Rebel Hunt. There you go. Dijon electrified. Nice. Electricity for everyone. Yeah. It's actually a pretty cool thing. All right. Let's check uh, Africa down here. What do we got? That looks okay, really. It's not amazing. Compositions are not very good, but whatever. How are we doing on forts? Uh, forts are still building. They do take time. Discredited in Australia. All right, let's see. Militancy or... Mm, uh, liberals. It's fine. All right, what can we do for influence? Discredited in Australia. It looks like we're going to Portugal. And uh, since Germany is also busy in Portugal, we might have a shot here. Maybe. The more people that Britain has to worry about, and the more nations that they have to worry about, the better chances we have of stealing someone. Although we do have to worry about Scandinavia. It looks like he's being a douche. Stop being a douche, Scandinavia. He's trying to fuck around with the Ottomans. China is no longer a great power. It's now France. Okay. France is back. And Scandinavia might fall down soon. Who would replace them? Poland! <gasps> Poland! Poland is 66 points away from replacing Scandinavia as one of the world's great powers. That'd be amazing. Yes, Switzerland conquered some land. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Switzerland too strong, please nerf. Yeah, maybe. That would certainly be something. Wow, France is trying real hard on Spain. Hmm. Might have to defend Spain, maybe. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. Holy shit, 26% craftsmen in Dalmatia. Wow. Can we upgrade any factories? Let's do it. There we go. There are zero projects. Well, what's the point of having our uh, rich tax at, at medium? I mean, that's pretty much as low as I'm willing to put it. What's the point of, of not taxing the rich uh, and having this particular government, which allows rich people to expand and build factories, if they're not going to do it? They have no projects going. Nothing. For fuck's sake. Why is there no projects going from our capitalists? You guys disappoint me. Let's see. Militancy. Militancy, yeah. Liberals. Upper house rearranged. We have more fascists. Okay. But conservatives still have the majority. Okay. 
That's fine. And we're making money again. Good. All right, business banks. Let's do some admin efficiency. We'll do some of these cheap ones because they're nice and easy. There are no capitalists in Italy? That's not true. There are some. At least I think there are. It looks like Portugal is going to be removed from Britain's sphere. Wow. That'd be amazing. Look at that. Poor Britain. He got blindsided. And yep, Germany's trying to get Switzerland now. Darn it. They are actually trying pretty hard to get Switzerland. Hmm. Have to keep an eye on all that stuff. If you ban them a few times, the AI tends to lose interest. Romania declared war on Austria-Hungary. Wow. Don't call me in. Come on. I just finished a war with them. I have a truce, man. That's okay. Romania's got enough troops. He should be able to handle it. And as soon as he declared war, he had rebels spawn. Ha! That'll learn you good. That'll learn you good. All right. Time to ban Scandinavia. You're getting too hot there, Scandiderpia. And we might get Portugal here. Wouldn't that be nice? It's too bad they lost uh, uh, Zanzibar to nationalists, but that's okay, though. Not the end of the world. Lazy natives. Always lazy natives, right? Okay, here we go. Time to ban Germany in Switzerland. Sorry, Germany. You're my friend and all, but I gotta ban you. Kiss, kiss. Hug, hug. Wink, wink. Oh, Poland's in the war. Hmm. Oh, Poland might make some demands here. Poland has no infamy. Oh, man, this is perfect. Romania is trying to get central Hungary, which is that chunk. Let's see. Yeah, central Hungary. Romania is trying to get this chunk, which would be nice. And Poland could come closer to us. If Poland takes this area, Transdanubia, then we could take Croatia. Or maybe they could take Croatia. They certainly have room in their infamy limit. And then we could touch each other. It'd be cute. Yay! All right, more simple text, please. Factory input, sure. That'll certainly help our economy. Anything to worry about? Not yet. I am concerned about Spain, because France is now a great power again. Um, but Spain hates France, so it's easier for us to influence Spain uh, than it is for France to influence Spain. So that's nice. Oh, France is a democracy. Look at that. Hmm. Yep, Poland wants to acquire Moravia. That's uh, over here. Okay. That's not exactly what I would prefer, but it's a thing. It is... One, two... It's four counties. Anything good? Wow, it's actually a pretty high population, and it's all coal. All four of them have coal. Wow. That's like 800,000 people or more. That's a nice state. Go Poland. Polyphase system is a way to help transmit alternating current. Cool. And electric rolling techniques. Steel production output, plus 4%. Not bad at all. Uh, who should we be influencing? Who should we be influencing? Well, we're pretty good almost everywhere. Hmm. Portugal's pretty good. We're going we're gonna to sphere Portugal any second here. That'd be great. No, I think we're good. Keep an eye on this stuff, though. Ooh. All pops in Italy lose consciousness. Yes, please. 3.4 to 2.5. Not bad. Not bad at all. And how are we doing on Niger? We're at um, 90%. We're almost there. We're almost making Niger a state. Oh. Yes. Yes. Portugal. Portugal, welcome. Ah, my president. We have added Portugal to our sphere of influence. The Pope knows no bounds. Okay, Portugal can go down to one. Uh, keep the pips, I mean, keep the influence going. I need Switzerland influence. So where's Switzerland? Spain, I need one pip there. Actually, no, I don't. Not yet. But I do need it in Switzerland. So, sphere please. Switzerland, give me a pip. Need to keep our sphere protected. Now, I know this, this has to be the most boring screen to watch in this game, but it really is important that we keep our sphere because every now and then we're going to have to keep banning people. When did we annex South Egypt? We did that... Oh, there's our alliance. We did that between episodes. I think it was after, after episode 28. Uh, we were talking about doing it, and then we said, screw it, and we did it. 
we use the console to annex them. Okay, get out of there. More forts. I mean, more uh, naval bases. No, pretty much done there. Over here. There we go. More naval bases. Nice. This will increase our uh, naval military capacity, but uh, it doesn't mean we have to rush out the ships. We'll get them in soon enough. Naval bases OP. At this, po at this point, I really wish Portugal still owned all this shit, because now Portugal's in our sphere. Oh, well. All right, looks like Spain's going to be the next one we have to kick someone out. And yeah, Austria-Hungary's getting wrecked. They're just getting wrecked. Poland and... Oh, Southern Serbia, crisis. Hmm. Oh shit, Serbia is in Germany's sphere. Well, then I can't help the Ottomans here. I am simply not going to get involved. Well, we could... Who would join me against Germany, though? I can't even imagine. God, Germany's so scary. Who would join me against Germany? Hmm. Not sure I want to get involved with that, really. I mean, we could, but it would be super risky. Oh, Germany declined to help Serbia. Whoa, really? Germany declined to help Serbia. All right, I'll join then. I'm in, baby. Yep, Germany declined to back Serbia. There you go. There you go. Russia will back Serbia. Excellent. Germany will join my side. Very good. This could be another great war. Yep, France, Britain... And Scandinavia, I presume? Nope, Scandinavia's going to join my side. All right, France, Britain, and Russia versus Germany, Scandinavia, and Italy. Love it. I can't wait. I wonder what the hell we want from that war, though. I don't even know. Something. Something, something. War goal. <laughs> uh, yep. Br Britain, yeah, France and Britain are in. Germany will join our side. And Scandinavia will probably join our side as well. Fabulous. Yemen goes bankrupt. Oh no! Not Yemen. Yeah, we have gas attacks. So we certainly will do well with our fighting. Gas attack. OP, yo. Break France? Yeah, we could take some more land from France. What would even be good here? No, we can't do region center. Oh yeah, we can. We can do region center. It might be nice. They have timber. We do import a lot of timber, so that would be useful, actually. Yeah, timber. Timber, that would be super useful. It'd be weird. It would look weird, but useful. Take Alsace-Lorraine, or this one. French Comte. Well, yeah, that's nice. Sulfur, coal. Not bad. Germany's in on our side. Scandinavia will probably join our side as well, but maybe the other side. Who knows? Oh, he wants Primorie as well. <laughs> Not gonna happen, my my little my little friend. All right, what are we doing over here? Neutral. Still good. Still good. Mm, still good. I think we're okay. Our sphere is pretty much okay. Uh, let's go ahead and ban France over here. Get out of there, France. You little punk. Portugal's got rebels somewhere. Let's find out where. Not at home. Oh, come on. More more expeditions to the South Pole. Antarctica. Do it. Is it down here? No. Where's your rebels, Portugal? Here? No. I don't know where Portugal's rebels are, but the game says Portugal has rebels. Oh, well. Who knows? Oh, I can't wait to see Austria-Hungary lose more land. <laughs> it's awesome. Of course you can have access. Poland... And we can now turn Congo into a state. Excellent. Hello, Congo. I presume we'll get some factories in there? Nope, no projects. God damn it, you stupid capitalists. All right, you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll just turn off taxes on the capitalists. Build fucking factories. 
Okay, Poland has peaced out. Ah, oh, but Romania. Oh, fuck's sake. Poland, you dick. So Romania declared war on Austria-Hungary, and they would have won that war on their own. But they called in their ally, Poland. Poland apparently became war leader, even though it was Romania's war. And Poland enforced his demand, and he gave Romania nothing. Yeah, that is completely broken. I don't like that. Romania should have at least taken central Hungary. Oh well. Poland is not a great power yet, but they are close. They're number 10. They're really catching up in industry. Yeah, I think Scandinavia is going to join our side. Yeah, probably. Oh, I can't wait. Another great war. Oh, it'll be fun. Super funsies. <laughs> Oh, we can do some more forts over here. Nice. Yeah, forts. Forts, 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 forts. I think that's the only place we can do it, though. Yeah, pretty much. Russia wants Primorye back. That ain't gonna happen. Take land from Britain? Yeah, we could. Mm -hmm. What the hell will we take, though? Midlands? Northwest Britain? Northwest Britain's pretty good. I don't want that unit in Cheju. It just doesn't do me any good. <laughs> Russia wants peace. White peace. Fuck off, Russia. If I wanted white peace, um, I would go for white peace. You're the one who added a demand that you want land from me. Russia demands land from me, and then he asks for white peace. You idiot. You idiot, Russia. You idiot. Yes, Germany has Bohemia. That's why Austria-Hungary looks so small. Alright, it's almost gonna be it's almost coming to fruition. Scandinavia still hasn't joined. Doesn't matter. It's still a great war. Third great war, I can feel it. I don't care if Serbia gets his land or not. I simply want war. Oh god, Austria Hungary is so desperate they allied Montenegro. <laughs> It's wartime? Almost. Oh, baby. Come on. They're not going to come in? No. Oh, you can get your cores back. It's no infamy, but I can't... I can't make it. Yeah. It's not good enough. Hmm. What about if I give you... Some relations? I kind of want him to come into the crisis, but... Mm. No, he still won't accept. Darn it. Scandinavia. I guess I should have been influencing him sooner. What's this? Mysore fears our might. Oh no, Mysore! Which one are you, Mysore? No. I mean, it's one of these. But whoever they are, they fear us. There he is. Mysore fears us. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be war. Any second now. Southern Serbia crisis. He's right. Only war will solve this. Yeah. Actually, let me do one last check on Scandinavia. Oh, hold on. Still 64. Come on, I'm going to give you Southern Finland, and he won't take it. Ah, oh, Scandinavia is not going to get in. Oh, well. We don't need them. Yeah. The Russian liberation of southern Serbia becomes the Great War. Hooray! <laughs> Unfortunately, our infamy only allows us to take one thing in this war, but we'll have to decide carefully what we want. I'm kind of leaning towards 
uh, region center because it has, well, a decent pop. And it has two timber, which we kind of need. We import a lot of timber. Uh, the other option would be Franche Comte, which has quite a lot of population and a little bit of coal, some iron. They're both good. Or we could go for some Russian lands. We could go for whatever this state is. What do we got? Grain, grain, coal, timber, grain. I mean, the only thing I don't like about these is they're freaking empty. There's nothing over there. It is just vacant. There's nothing there. Uh, but that's going to have to wait until next time. So this war will be in the next episode or two. Uh, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Invade! Woohoo!